Hello children how are you all hope all are fine and safe or you all aware in washing your hands frequently don't forget to do that don't go out and play with your friends always be safe at home i welcome all of you for the biology revision class i hope all saw the first video class and completed worksheet now let us revise and recall the same Now let's go to the lesson. The topic is crop production and management. What is a crop? Plants of same kind grown and cultivated at one place on a large scale. For example, can you see a crop cultivated in the field here in the picture? Now banana plantation in the field. Any other crops are seen in between? No. Now paddy field. Another example cotton field no other crops are seen in between is it not in this way same type of plants cultivated at one place on a large scale are called crops crops are of two types one karif crops and two rabi crops crops that grow in rainy seasons are called karif crops that is from the month of june to september example paddy crop crops that grow in winter season are called rabi crops that is from the month of october to march example wheat pea plants cultivation of crops involves several activities do you remember the steps you are correct there are seven steps in that let us see the first three steps in this class yes the first step is preparation of soil do you remember the implement used for soil preparation yes it is called plow in this picture you are seeing a man carries the plow can you see the triangular shaped iron rod in front that is called share and a long rod made of wood at the back it is called shaft this helps to plow the field it is drawn by a pair of bulls horses or camels nowadays plowing is done with the help of tractor by using modern tools this reduces time and labor next the advantages of plowing it helps to loosen the soil and roots to penetrate easily this helps plants to breathe easily and also plowing breaks the big crumbs present in the soil moreover turning and loosening of soil is very important for cultivation of crops and plowing helps for this step The process of loosening and turning of the soil is called tilling or ploughing. The second step in agriculture is sowing. Sowing is the most important part of crop production. Before sowing, good quality seeds are selected. Good quality seeds only will give high yield. Now, we shall see how to select good quality seeds. When you put some seeds in a beaker containing water some seeds will float and the remaining will go down Can you recall why is it so Yes the good quality seeds go down as it is heavier the affected seeds that are hollow and lighter will float on the top the traditional method of sowing seeds is by manual or a funnel shaped tool filled with seeds and the seed is passed down through pipe having sharp ends that pierce into the soil nowadays the modern tool the seed drill is used for sowing with the help of tractors seed drill helps to sow seeds uniformly at regular intervals this avoid overcrowding of plants growth also covers the seed with soil 
by preventing the damage caused by birds after sowing. Adding manure and fertilizers is the third step. Substances which are added to the soil in the form of nutrients for the healthy growth of plants are called manure or fertilizers. Continuous growing of crops make the soil poorer in certain nutrients. Hence, farmers have to add manure to replenish the soil with nutrients. In this process, if this process is not done, it results in weak plants. Manure is an organic substance obtained from decomposition of plant or animal wastes. This could be done by microorganisms. But fertilizers are chemical substances rich in particular nutrients. Example, urea, superphosphate, potash, NPK fertilizers. Another method of replenishing the soil with nutrients is through crop rotation. This can be done by growing different crops alternately. In this, farmers grow fodder crop that is wheat or rice in one season and legumes in the next season. This helps in the replenishment of the soil with nitrogen. This is done by the rhizobium bacteria present in the root nodules of leguminous plants. Hope you might have remembered what you have studied in the previous year. Advantages of Manure Manure enhances the water holding capacity of the soil. It makes the soil porous and enhances the exchange of gases. It increases the number of friendly microbes and also it improves the texture of the soil. Ok children, hope you all understand the lesson well. Shall we start writing the classwork now? Ok, take your classwork, write the index page, name, then in a new page, start writing your classwork by writing today's date. Write neatly and legibly. In book exercise, you start with the fourth one. Write a paragraph in your own words on each of the following. A. Preparation of soil. The preparation of soil is the first step in agriculture which involves turning and loosening the soil. This allows the roots to penetrate deep into the soil. The loosened soil helps in the growth of earthworms and microbes and add humus. B. Sowing. Before sowing, quality, good quality seeds are selected. High quality seeds are clean and healthy seeds of a good variety. Seeds can be sown by seed drill or manually. Next one, C. Weeding. Weeds are undesirable plants that grow along with crops. The removal of weeds is known as weeding. Weeds can be removed either manually by using tools like kurpi or by using weedicides like 2,4-D. Next, D. Threshing. The process of separation of the grains from the chaff is called threshing. This is carried out with the help of a machine called combine which is in fact a combined harvester and thresher. Fifth one, explain how fertilizers are different from manure. You please divide the column into two and write the heading fertilizer manure. In fertilizer column, first point, a fertilizer is an inorganic salt. Prepared, second point, prepared in factories. Third point, does not provide any humus to the soil. Fourth point, fertilizers are very rich in plant nutrients like nitrogen, 
phosphorus and potassium example urea phosphate next in the column manure start writing first point manure is a natural substance obtained by the decomposition of cattle dung human waste and plant residues second point can be prepared in the fields third point manure provides a lot of humus to the soil fourth point manure is relatively less rich in plant nutrients example compost vermicompost thank you students